Cassandra's heart raced as she entered the lively party, the music thumping and laughter filling the air. She scanned the room, searching for a familiar face in the sea of strangers. That's when she saw him, Daniel, standing at the edge of the room with a drink in hand, a mischievous glint in his eyes. As Sandra approached, Daniel looked up, and their eyes locked. The noise of the party seemed to fade as they exchanged a knowing smile. Sandra felt an instant connection, a magnetic pull drawing her toward him. Hey there, Daniel said, extending his hand. I'm Daniel. Sandra, she replied, shaking his hand. Nice to meet you. The conversation flowed effortlessly as they discovered shared interests, from a love for vintage rock to a passion for travel. Time seemed to fly as they laughed and exchanged stories, creating a bubble of connection that isolated them from the party around them. As the night unfolded, Daniel's easy charm and genuine interest in Sandra made her feel like she was the only person in the room. They talked about everything, from their dreams and ambitions to the quirky names they choose for their future pets. You know, Daniel said, leaning in with a playful smile, I have a feeling we're going to be inseparable by the end of the night. Sandra chuckled, is that so? What makes you so sure? Call it a hunch, he replied, eyes twinkling. Or maybe it's just that good music and good company have a way of working their magic. The night culminated in a spontaneous dance, their laughter and connection intensifying with every step. By the end of the evening, as the party winded down, Daniel leaned in and whispered, I don't want this night to end. Sandra, caught in the magic of the moment, simply nodded. Little did they know, this fateful encounter would set the stage for a whirlwind romance and a journey filled with both joy and challenges. The days turned into weeks, and Sandra found herself growing closer to Daniel. As their relationship deepened, the inevitable moment arrived, meeting Daniel's parents. An invitation to dinner at his childhood home filled Sandra with a mix of excitement and nervousness. The evening unfolded in a quaint suburban house, filled with the aroma of a home-cooked meal. Sandra, adorned in her best attire, exchanged a nervous glance with Daniel as they approached the front door. Dora, Daniel's mother, greeted them with a tight smile that didn't quite reach her eyes. Ah, oh, you must be Sandra, she said, shaking Sandra's hand with a firm grip. Daniel has told us so much about you. Sandra smiled, trying to ease the tension. It's lovely to finally meet you, Mrs. Stevens. Dora led them into the dining room, where Mr. Stevens sat, a newspaper folded neatly in his hands. Dad, this is Sandra, Daniel said, attempting to break the ice. Nice to meet you, Sandra, Mr. Stevens said, looking up briefly before returning to his paper. The dinner conversation started on a light note, with Daniel's parents asking about Sandra's background and career. However, the atmosphere shifted when the topic of finances arose. Dora, peering at Sandra over her glasses, remarked, So, dear, what line of work are you in? I work at the county hospital up north, Sandra replied, her tone confident. Dora's gaze turned sharper. And how much do they pay you for that? Sandra felt the scrutiny but held her ground. I do well enough, thank you. Daniel interjected, trying to lighten the mood. Mom, let's not talk about work right now. We're here to enjoy dinner. But Dora persisted, well, Daniel does more than get by. We believe in being sensible, don't we? Sandra glanced at Daniel, who remained calm but silent. The evening took an unexpected turn as Dora segued into the topic of marriage. So, when are we going to hear wedding bells? She asked, as if Sandra's income was a mere precursor to a discussion on marital commitment. Sandra felt a lump in her throat but maintained her composure. We're taking things one step at a time, she replied, her gaze shifting between Daniel and his parents. The tone for their commitment was set, a tough path ahead, not all sunshine and romance. As Sandra navigated these familial expectations, 
she couldn't help but wonder if love alone would be enough to bridge the widening gap between their worlds. As weeks turned into months, Sandra couldn't shake the feeling that the foundation of her once strong relationship with Daniel was showing signs of wear. The initial enchantment of their love was giving way to a subtle but undeniable distance between them. One evening, as they sat in their cozy living room, Sandra tried to broach the subject gently. Daniel, do you feel like something's changed between us? He looked up from his laptop, a hint of distraction in his eyes. Changed? What do you mean? I don't know, Sandra sighed, fidgeting with the edge of a throw pillow. It just feels like we're not as connected as we used to be. You've been so distant lately. Daniel closed his laptop, leaning back on the couch with a thoughtful expression. I guess work has been stressful lately. I didn't mean to pull away. Sandra nodded, understanding the pressures of a demanding job. But it's not just that. It's like we're not a team anymore. We used to tackle everything together, but now it feels like I'm on my own. He sighed, running a hand through his hair. I know. I've just been caught up with deadlines and meetings. It's temporary, Sandra, I promise. Despite the reassurance, the tension lingered. Days turned into weeks, and the excuses started rolling in. Babe, I had a rough day at work, he'd say, dropping his bag by the door without acknowledging the hints of garlic and basil in the air or the sizzling sound from the stove. I get it, everyone has bad days, Sandra responded initially, trying to be understanding. But the bad days began to string together like a lousy pearl necklace, each excuse shinier than the last. One night, Sandra found him sprawled on the couch, eyes glued to a game on TV. The floor was a maze of his work stuff, and the sink displayed an overstuffed exhibition of dirty dishes. The kitchen's blowing up, she said, trying to keep her voice level. You were supposed to handle it tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'll get to it. Just let me watch this play, he muttered, not moving an inch. Sandra snapped, surprising even herself. I don't need plays I need a partner. He shot her a quick glance, then returned his attention to the game. Chill out, will you? It's just a bit of mess. A bit of mess, she exclaimed. The frustration that had been building up erupted. So, I left his mess, stopped picking up his dirty socks, stopped doing his laundry. Petty, sure, but I was at a breaking point. The once shared life they were supposed to be building felt more like a solo gig, and Sandra couldn't shake the feeling that the foundation they had meticulously laid was now cracked and fragile. Dora, Daniel's mother, intensified her presence in Sandra and Daniel's life, casting a shadow of criticism over their home. Every visit from her felt like a storm brewing on the horizon, ready to unleash its fury. One weekend, Daniel reluctantly announced, Mom's coming over for dinner, Sandra. Please try to make a good impression. Sandra took a deep breath, preparing herself for the scrutiny she knew would follow. As Dora entered their home, her gaze immediately swept across the living room, cataloging every detail. Dora's disapproval manifested in subtle comments and passive-aggressive observations. Oh, Sandra, dear, I see you haven't dusted the bookshelves. A clean home is a happy home, you know. Sandra bit her tongue, forcing a smile. I'll get to it, Dora. Thanks for pointing it out. As the dinner progressed, Dora's critiques extended to Sandra's cooking. I hope this chicken isn't dry. A well-cooked meal is crucial for a family's health. Daniel attempted to diffuse the tension. Mom, Sandra's cooking is fantastic. You don't need to worry. Dora raised an eyebrow, her disapproval lingering in the air. Well, I just want what's best for my son. A good wife takes care of her husband in every aspect. Sandra's frustration simmered beneath the surface, but she held her composure. After dinner, as they sat in the living room, Dora's gaze landed on a pile of unfolded laundry. 
Dear, you really should keep up with the housework. A tidy home is a reflection of a woman's character. Sandra took a breath, choosing her words carefully. Dora, I appreciate your concerns, but Daniel and I are managing just fine. We have our own way of doing things. Dora's response was a disapproving huff. Well, if you say so. But a woman's duty is to maintain her home and keep her husband happy. The tension lingered long after Dora left, leaving Sandra feeling the weight of judgment and unmet expectations. As Daniel and Sandra faced the aftermath, the strain in their relationship deepened. Sandra began to question not only her role as a wife but also the very foundation of the life she had envisioned with Daniel. The strain in Sandra and Daniel's relationship reached a crescendo when Daniel unexpectedly lost his job. As the news sank in, Sandra found herself grappling with the reality that their already fragile foundation was now on the verge of collapse. Sandra sat on the couch, her mind racing with worry. Daniel entered the room, his expression somber. I lost my job today, he admitted, his eyes avoiding Sandra's. What? How? Why didn't you tell me sooner? Sandra's voice rose with a mix of shock and frustration. Daniel shrugged, a defeated look in his eyes. They're cutting back, and I'm off the management track. Just like that, I'm out. Sandra felt a surge of emotions, concern for Daniel, fear for their financial stability, and a growing frustration that had been building for months. And what does this mean for us, Daniel? Are you going to look for a new job? Contribute to the bills. Daniel sighed, the weight of the situation evident in his voice. I need some time to figure things out. Maybe I won't go back to the corporate world. Maybe there's something else out there for me. Sandra's patience wore thin. Figure things out. We have bills to pay, Daniel. I can't do this alone. You need to contribute we're supposed to be partners. Daniel's response was dismissive, Sandra, it's not that simple. I can't just jump into another job I hate. I need to find something that fulfills me. Sandra, feeling the financial burden intensify, reached her breaking point. Fulfills you. We're drowning in responsibilities here. I can't carry the weight of this relationship alone. It's not fair. Daniel's gaze hardened, a hint of irritation in his voice. You wanted a partnership, Sandra. This is life, deal with it. Sandra couldn't hold back her frustration any longer. A partnership doesn't mean ditching out when things get tough. We're supposed to face challenges together. The words hung thick and toxic in the air. The realization that their once shared dreams were crumbling hit Sandra with the force of a wave. She stood her ground, her heart heavy with disappointment. The breaking point had arrived, and Sandra knew that whatever happened next would shape the course of their relationship. Feeling the weight of disappointment and the crumbling foundation of her relationship with Daniel, Sandra sought solace in the wisdom of her grandmother. They sat in the cozy living room, surrounded by memories and the comforting scent of home. Grandma looked at Sandra, her eyes filled with understanding. Child, love is a journey with its share of storms. Sometimes, you must weather them to find the sun on the other side. Sandra sighed, but Grandma, it feels like the storms just keep coming. I don't know how much more I can take. Her grandmother placed a comforting hand on Sandra's shoulder. Life is a series of challenges, my dear. It's how you face them that defines your journey. I thought Daniel and I were building something strong, Sandra admitted, her voice filled with uncertainty. But it's all falling apart. Grandma nodded knowingly. Love is a delicate dance, and sometimes, the steps go awry. It's in those moments that you discover your strength, your resilience. Sandra looked at her grandmother, her eyes seeking guidance. What should I do, Grandma? I feel lost. Listen to your heart, child. It knows the way, 
Grandma replied, her voice filled with assurance. You have the strength to stand on your own, and sometimes, finding peace means stepping away from the chaos. As Sandra absorbed her grandmother's words, a sense of clarity began to emerge. But what about the life I thought I would have with Daniel? The dreams we shared. Grandma smiled gently. Life has a funny way of unfolding, my dear. Dreams may change, but your strength remains. Embrace the unexpected, and you'll find a path that leads to your true self. Sandra took a deep breath, feeling a mixture of sorrow and hope. I want to find that path, Grandma. I want to rediscover who I am without the weight of broken dreams. Grandma squeezed Sandra's hand, you're stronger than you know. Take the time you need, and remember, the sun will rise again. As Sandra left her grandmother's home that day, a newfound sense of determination settled within her. She began to envision a life beyond the storms, guided by the wisdom passed down through generations. The journey towards self-discovery had begun, and with grandma's words echoing in her heart, Sandra stepped into the unknown with a newfound sense of purpose. With the weight of her broken relationship and shattered dreams, Sandra took the first steps toward rebuilding her life. The familiar surroundings of her grandmother's home became a sanctuary, a place to heal and rediscover her sense of self. One sunny morning, Sandra sat at the kitchen table, a notebook in hand. Her grandmother entered, a knowing smile on her face. Planning your next steps, dear. Sandra nodded, I can't stay stuck in the past, Grandma. I need to move forward and find a new path for myself. Her grandmother leaned in, offering a warm hug. That's the spirit, my dear. Life is a journey, and sometimes you have to forge your own path. As Sandra flipped through her notebook, she found herself jotting down ideas and dreams that had been buried beneath the weight of her failed marriage. I used to love painting, she mused. Maybe it's time to pick up the brush again. Her grandmother's eyes twinkled with encouragement. Do what makes your heart sing, Sandra. This is your chance for a fresh start. In the coming weeks, Sandra explored new opportunities, rekindled old passions, and reconnected with friends. One day, as she attended a local art class, she met an old friend, Lisa, who noticed the change in Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Long time no see. What brings you here? Lisa asked, a curious smile on her face. Sandra grinned, a newfound light in her eyes. I'm starting anew, Lisa. Rediscovering the things that make me happy and defining my own path. Lisa's eyes widened with admiration. That's incredible. Sometimes, we need to break free from the old to embrace the new. How are you feeling about everything? Sandra paused, reflecting on her journey. It's not easy, but I'm learning to find joy in the small moments. I want to create a life that's true to who I am. Lisa nodded, well, you've got a friend in me. Let's catch up more often. You never know what new adventures might come our way. As Sandra immersed herself in her rediscovered passions and the support of friends, the once daunting idea of starting anew began to feel liberating. The routine of shared responsibilities and unmet expectations faded into the background, replaced by a sense of freedom and self-discovery. As Sandra ventured further into her journey of self-discovery, unexpected support emerged from the most unlikely places. The friendships she formed and the connections she rekindled played a pivotal role in helping her navigate the uncertainties of starting anew. One day, as Sandra immersed herself in a local art exhibition, she noticed a familiar face in the crowd. It was Rachel, a friend from the past, and someone she hadn't seen since the whirlwind days of her relationship with Daniel. Sandra. Is that really you? Rachel exclaimed, a mixture of surprise and delight in her voice. Sandra smiled, feeling a sense of warmth. Yes, it's me. How have you been, Rachel? They found a quiet corner to catch up, 
surrounded by vibrant artwork that mirrored the colors of Sandra's changing life. Rachel's genuine interest in Sandra's journey made her feel seen and valued. I heard about what you've been going through, Rachel admitted, her eyes filled with empathy. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. If you ever need to talk or if there's anything I can do, just let me know. Sandra felt a surge of gratitude. Thank you, Rachel. It means a lot to me. I never expected to find such unexpected support. Rachel nodded, life has a way of surprising us. Sometimes, the people who come back into our lives are there for a reason. In the following weeks, Rachel became a steadfast companion in Sandra's journey. They explored art galleries together, attended local events, and shared countless conversations about life, love, and resilience. One evening, as they sat in a cozy cafe, sipping coffee, Rachel looked at Sandra with a knowing smile. You're blossoming, Sandra. It's incredible to witness. Sandra chuckled, I never thought I'd find so much joy in rediscovering myself. It's liberating. Rachel leaned in, her voice filled with sincerity. You deserve every bit of happiness, Sandra. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Unexpected support can come from the most unexpected places. As the two friends continued to build a bond that transcended the trials of the past, Sandra felt a newfound strength. The unexpected support she found in Rachel and others became a cornerstone of her journey toward self-empowerment and the creation of a life that reflected her true essence. With newfound support and a sense of empowerment, Sandra realized that confronting the past was an essential step on her journey of self-discovery. As she delved into the depths of her memories, she acknowledged the pain and lessons that shaped her, paving the way for healing. One day, Sandra decided to revisit the place where she and Daniel had exchanged vows, a quaint park filled with echoes of their once promised forever. The familiarity of the surroundings stirred a mix of emotions within her. As Sandra walked through the park, she found herself standing near the spot where they had exchanged rings. A flood of memories rushed back, and she couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness. Just then, a familiar voice broke through her reverie. It was Lisa, who happened to be passing by. Sandra, is everything okay? Sandra offered a soft smile, just taking a trip down memory lane. Sometimes, it's necessary to confront the past to move forward. Lisa nodded understandingly. I get that. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Encouraged by Lisa's support, Sandra continued her journey through the park. She found herself at the bench where she and Daniel had shared countless conversations about their dreams and aspirations. As she sat there, lost in thought, a stranger approached. It was an elderly woman with a warm smile. Mind if I join you, dear? Sandra welcomed the company, intrigued by the stranger's genuine curiosity. Sure, please. The woman introduced herself as Mrs. Anderson. I couldn't help but notice the contemplative look on your face. Care to share your story? Sandra hesitated but felt a sense of comfort in Mrs. Anderson's presence. I'm going through a challenging time. Confronting memories and trying to find my way after a broken relationship. Mrs. Anderson nodded knowingly. Ah, love and loss. They're chapters in everyone's book. But remember, dear, the next chapters are yours to write. Sandra's eyes welled with tears. It's hard to let go. Mrs. Anderson patted Sandra's hand reassuringly. Letting go doesn't mean forgetting. It means making space for new beginnings. What do you want the next chapter to hold? As Sandra pondered Mrs. Anderson's question, she realized the importance of defining her own narrative. The past, while a part of her, didn't have to dictate her future. With newfound strength, she stood up, ready to continue her journey. Thank you, Mrs. Anderson. You've given me a lot to think about, Sandra said, feeling a sense of gratitude for the unexpected encounter. 
As she left the park, Sandra carried with her the wisdom of those who had crossed her path. Confronting the past became not only a process of closure but also a stepping stone toward the unfolding chapters of a life she was determined to shape on her terms. One day, Sandra found herself drawn to a serene yoga retreat on the outskirts of town. The peaceful surroundings and gentle guidance offered an opportunity for introspection and healing. In a yoga class overlooking a tranquil lake, Sandra met a wise instructor named Maya. After the class, they sat on the edge of the dock, the water rippling beneath them. Maya sensed the weight Sandra carried and began the conversation gently. Life has a way of challenging us, doesn't it? But within those challenges, we often find the keys to our own peace. Sandra nodded, her eyes reflecting a mixture of vulnerability and determination. I've been through a lot, and I'm trying to make sense of it all. Maya offered a reassuring smile. Finding peace isn't about escaping the storms it's about learning to dance in the rain. What brings you here, to this retreat? Sandra took a deep breath. I needed a break from the chaos, a chance to reconnect with myself and find inner peace. Maya nodded knowingly. Peace begins within. Sometimes, we must let go of what no longer serves us to make room for the serenity we seek. As the days passed, Sandra immersed herself in the retreat's activities, from meditation sessions to nature walks. Each experience brought her closer to a sense of tranquility she hadn't known in a long time. One evening, as Sandra sat by a bonfire, she struck up a conversation with a fellow retreat participant named Alex. They shared stories of resilience, growth, and the pursuit of peace. Alex spoke from the heart, life has this way of breaking us open. But within those cracks, the light gets in. We find strength in our vulnerabilities. Sandra felt a deep connection with Alex's words. I never thought I'd find strength in the midst of all this pain. But maybe there's a silver lining, a chance for renewal. As the retreat drew to a close, Sandra stood by the same lake where she had met Maya. The reflection of the moon shimmered on the water, and a sense of peace washed over her. Maya joined her, sensing the transformation within Sandra. You've come a long way, my dear. Remember, the journey of finding peace is ongoing. Embrace it, and may your path be filled with serenity. With a heart full of gratitude and a newfound sense of inner peace, Sandra left the retreat. As she stepped back into the world, she carried with her the lessons of the past, the strength gained through challenges, and the promise of a future shaped by her own choices.